have a wonderful morning. Mm. We want to thank y'all. We went on vacation last week. We saw a real, lot of real pretty country and a lot cooler weather when we left than when we had here. But it's, I see the cool's gotten down here too, so that's okay. good news. We still need to really pray for rain. We are still bone dry, so let's just lift that up to the Lord. Also, I've got to thank you, though, from uh, Kid Camp. How can we thank God enough for you in return for all the joy we have in the presence of our God because of you? So many times I say a simple prayer of thanks for every wonderful thing you are to me. Thank you so much for sharing with us. God's love to you all, Give Count Baptist Church. So we praise the Lord that God has blessed us enough to where we can be a blessing to a lot of different people. Amen. Who would have thought what we would have been able to do and where we're at now? Amen. That God is building us a beautiful new church building and it won't be that far off that we'll be in it and we'll need a lot of workers. So y'all need to pray about your part, what you want to do. And I'll tell you what, it is uh, dangerous days that we're living in, in the world. Uh, we left and everything was fine in Israel. Anita and I were even talking about for our anniversary next year, maybe going to Israel. But of course now, that is just not going to happen. And there were so many Christians that got stuck in Israel whenever all this war broke out. There was no planes that were allowed to land. So I don't know if they've gotten everybody back or not. But we certainly want to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We want to pray that God's hand of anointing will be upon them. We know it says in Scripture that one day the Jews will acknowledge Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And uh, that day is approaching. And we may well be the people that see a lot of the, these things happen and then ultimately see the rapture of the church. So let's, let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you so much for your bountiful blessings. You're so good to us, Lord, all the time. And Lord, Lenita and I thank you for the vacation you allowed us to go on, to visit with my daughter and her husband, and Lord, for the opportunity to share the truth of the gospel with them, and for the seeds that were planted by Brother Robert. I thank you for Brother Robert and the message he brought to our congregation, not only to us, but to everyone that looks on YouTube at our Balzora Baptist Church site. And Lord, we know your word goes forth with power, and the seeds that were planted will bring forth fruit. And Lord, we thank you that your hand is in everything, that you envelop us and encompass us and speak to us. Father, we pray that you might send us rain, an abundance of rain, and we pray, Lord, that you will build your church at Balzora. Yes. Lord, we pray for fruit. We pray for the opportunity to be in this building and to go out and visit in our company, to sh in, our, in our county, rather, and to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with this Balzora yes. area. Father, thank you for this day. May the Holy Spirit take charge of this service. We commit these things to you in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And everyone said, Amen. 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 All right. Brother Eric. All right, good morning. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, I forgot my reading glasses, so I've got my wife's today, so uh, don't, don't poke too much fun. Uh, let's all stand, and we'll sing number 305. Number 305, Jesus Paid It All. I hear the Savior say,
for this day. Yes. We're just thankful for the beautiful sunshine. Yeah. Amen. And the cooler weather that we have. Amen. Yes. Lord. Lord, we do need some rain. Yes. Lord, I just pray that our church will be a light on a hill. Yes, Lord. I just pray that each of us will not be afraid to speak your name. Yes. Amen. Yes. Just Lord. every day as we walk yes. and as we Lord. talk. Amen. Just let us be a light yes, to Lord. your word. Yes. Lord, our country is in a battle. We're in a battle right now for good and evil. Yes. And another way of saying <coughs> that between Jesus Christ and Satan. Yes. And Lord, good things come from Jesus and the bad things come from Satan. Yes. Let us not be one to support the evil. That's right. Let us be ready and willing to share your message. Yes, Father. And to go forth as disciples. Yes. Lord. And Lord, we just thank you and pray you. We're thankful for our new church building coming along. Yes. And Lord, I'm just thankful that some of the rumors are that it might be finished in April. Woo. Lord, we just thank you and praise you for this new church. Yes. And we just pray that it will be your church. Yes. We're just the body that is there. Yes. Lord. And we are the church. Yes. That's Lord. just the building. Yes. But we want to use that building. Yes. We want to use it for ourselves yes. and for Wise County. Yes, Lord. Lord, just go before us and let us complete this mission. Yes. Let us just be messengers to this portion of Wise County yes. and surrounding area. Yes. And Lord, we just ask that you bless us. Yes, Lord. And just heal our bodies and yes. keep us safe. Mm -hmm. Yes, and Father. Just pray that as we pass this over and plate, People will be generous yes, and be Lord. happy givers. Yes, Lord. Lord, we just pray that we will take that money and use it for your work. Amen. We yes, ask Lord. this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right.
to greet each other. Oh, and whoever's doing mission moments will be up next. Yeah. Is everybody today? Hope everybody's doing all right. Spiritually, I know we have some folks we want to be praying for. We still have Patty Campbell in the hospital. And uh, God has been gracious to her. She was really, really sick. They had to put the, the uh, tube down her to help her breathe in that. But uh, she's recovered. They're taking it out. Her throat is still real sore. But we know God raised her up because she could have very well died. But, you know, I thank God that we have a praying church. And I, we've seen God answer so many of our prayers. He is Amen. so good to us. Amen. So we want to continue to pray for Patty. And uh, let's see who else we have. Rosita. No, go ahead over here. Yes, Rosita. Uh, did you get word that she's out of ICU? Yes. Okay. Yeah, she's on the fourth floor. I'm going to go see her after church. Donnie, do you have somebody? Yes, I have a praise. Okay, Donnie has a praise. Because I have a brand new cousin, Franklin Roy Davis. Uh, Franklin, yeah, Franklin Roy Davis was born yesterday. I was right. born on Friday. Praise God, that's wonderful. And that's my uncle's daughter's new son. All right, well, praise so. God. It's exciting when you get a new baby in the family. Uh-huh. All right, anybody on this side? Okay, Caitlin. Um, Michael Grothy, he just got out of the hospital and he has to have his colon removed next week. Michael Grothy, and tell me again what's wrong. He's had his colon removed. Colon removed. He next has week. the flu and the COVID and the vaccine, that's his colon. So he's okay. next week. But he's gonna have his colon removed. Yeah. Oh, bless his heart. And he has lots of problems anyway. Yeah. So Michael Grothy is going to have his colon removed next week. We certainly want to pray for him. That's a big surgery. Anybody else on this side? Yes. Uh, continue to pray for Ann. She still can't. She's very weak and just having a tough time getting back on her. So Ann Moyer still very weak. We want to lift her up to the Lord that she'll get stronger and be here with Linda. Yes, Nancy. Don't pray for Paul. He's doing better. He went to the doctor and got three of the treatments, and he did real well on them. Good. And then the doctor gave him a pretty good report, so we didn't have to go back. I think Praise God. Mm -hmm. Just keep so, him on your prayers. Yeah, right? let's keep praying for he's Paul Howard. He's got his struggles with his breathing, but he's doing better. They got a lot of junk out of him. And uh, let's just pray that God will speak to him and maybe... Encourage him to get back in church. Amen. Okay, anybody else on this side? Yes, yeah, Sheila. Linda. Yes. Linda Ferguson. Now, where is she at right now? She's back in rehab. They took her to the emergency room and they did more testing and she had something called colitis. Colitis. Which is her large intestine was inflamed. Okay. Another problem. Okay. And they gave her morphine for the pain, and I yeah. guess they took her back to rehab. We'll so where's she at? It's stagecoach? Yes. Stagecoach. Okay. Okay, anybody else on this side of the room? I don't know if she's been mentioned. Valerie's going to have her surgery tomorrow. Valerie's having surgery tomorrow. Do you know what time, Carol? What, what time, Valerie? Mm -hmm. Oh, Valerie. 6 a.m.? Do you tell them you prefer a later start? <laughs> <laughs> so she is going to have a surgery tomorrow. I want to pray for Valerie that God will bless her. Kathy? I'm going in Tuesday for having a procedure on my back. Okay. Kathy is going to have a procedure done on her back. And I, I need to have one too. My back killed me <laughs> on my trip. So anyway. Okay, this side of the room. Yeah. Brian Cox, still keep praying for him. How's he doing? The same. I mean, better. Slow, slow, slow progress. Slow. Is his is his eyes able to? No. Yeah, Brian Cox. His eyes. His brain is not telling his eyes to work. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of that, but that's what he's going through. Mm -hmm. So let's pray for Brian that God will touch him and. Uh, and her mother-in-law, June Esposito, I mean, mom, my mother-in-law, okay. June Esposito, she's having surgery on her foot on the... Right. June. 
June. June Esposito. Surgery on her foot. That is uh, Adriana's mother. Okay, so she's come here, right? Yeah. 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 Surgery on her foot. When? When is that? Friday. 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 Yeah. All right. Any? Okay, brother. Orville. We need to keep Bobby Eason. Yes. Bobby Eason. Bobby Eason. Has he heard any more since he got the report? Okay. So Bobby Eason has cancer, and there's a lot of ins and outs to it. They're trying to figure it all out. But let's pray for Bobby and Robbie uh, that they stay healthy and get, get stronger, and we know we miss them when they're not here. Okay. Anybody else on this? Thing? Yes. Yeah, please. Okay. The actress has had a lot of health issues and she's going to have a bone scan tomorrow. So let's pray that everything turns out well and if there's anything wrong, that they find it and that the Lord will fix it. Okay, anybody else? Yes, Allison. Oh my goodness. So Mike Wilson has septus in his collarbone and uh, they haven't been able to stop it from spreading. So let's pray that God will touch him and give them the wisdom. God will speak the word and stop that infection. And prayers that he would understand that God is real. Okay. Jesus is his savior if he allows him to be. Amen. 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 So let's pray God will open his eyes to his presence and his ability to transform his life and his saving. Okay, anybody else? Yes. Uh, Bonnie and, and Bill. Yes, uh, Bill and Bonnie. Bonnie uh, has dementia, and it's getting worse, and Bill is exasperated. She's tried to do very d different things that have scared him. And uh, she'll take stuff out and just sell it. And she's having all kinds of hallucinations. She's got a UTI also that's exacerbating her condition. Great. So let's pray that God will bring healing to her and stop that infection and will bring her back to her right mind. Okay. Any, any, yes. Uh, What's her name? Uh, Bonnie. What's her last name? Alan. Alan. Okay, Bill and Bonnie, I, Ellen is... Bill Tanner. Bill what? Tanner. Tanner. Okay, Bill Tanner. They are brother and sister. Yeah, I knew they were, yeah. Y'all seen them, they usually bring Cindy, Bill, and then oh, Bonnie. Yeah. yeah, Bill and Bonnie. From yeah. Joplin. Yes. Oh, wow. David, David Ray had operation on his hip. Okay. And he's going to be 100 days right now, 100 days in rehab. Oh my goodness. Former pastor at Joplin had operation on his hip and he's going to be 100 days in rehab. Yes. Never mind. I was going to ask if that was Dr. David Ray because that's my Oh, yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was the preacher at Joplin. Yeah. That, yeah. How we got to know him. So, yeah, they've really been through a lot, him and his wife. So, 100 days. So let's pray. God will help him through this. And he doesn't want to be that long. That's totally slimy. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah. Anybody else? Yes, Linda. Spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. You know, when we have members of our family that are lost and we're trying to help God to open their eyes, uh, we experienced that last week with our family, my daughter. And, you know, you can take them to church when you're young, but you can't do anything uh, when they get older. All you can do is pray and share the truth in love. And I try to preach a little sermon every day because they desperately need it. You know, when you miss Jesus, you miss the main one in this whole life. This life is all about Jesus. And, the, and Satan will do everything he can to keep your eyes closed. So, so let's pray for Linda and spiritual warfare. Anyone else? 
Yes. I got one more. Put my dad back on there again. His name Bill, right? Yeah, Bill. Uh huh. Bill. Okay. Just asking for him to find God. Yeah. Donnie, what's his, what's his last name? Bush. B U S B U S H. B U S H. Bill Bush. It's really William Bush. Okay, but that's right. But it goes so by he Bill needs Bush. salvation, right? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. yes, sir. That's what I wish for him to have salvation. Yes, Barbara. Uh, I'd like to put my granddaughter, Jenny. Jenny? Uh, she It's really bad. Uh, she's got an infection and it's going to the brain and everything. And, uh, it's just a long road. So Barbara has a granddaughter, Jenny, that has an infection that's gone into her brain, mm -hmm. and it's just all really bad. Yes. So we just need to pray for Jenny and the infection. Anyone else? I got to praise. Uh, my brother is a non-believer. Uh-huh. And he, his car died last week. Well, this guy <laughs> came helped him, and he touched his heart. My brother got in the car and cried. Wow. Uh, this guy talked to him about Jesus. He didn't preach him a lot, yeah. but he talked to him, and my brother the car cried. So finally, somebody probably has touched him where he'll finally believe. Amen. So her brother had car trouble, got stopped and helped, and uh, he told him about Jesus, the guy that stopped. And so it's been planted, and she's praying that God will bring him all the way in and save his soul and transform his life. You know, that's what life's about. We all bump into different opportunities to help people. And the main help everyone needs is Jesus Christ. Amen. Be bold. Don't worry about what they think. Share the love of Christ. Be I want to continue. Um, I have the JT's mom, Leah. She's really um, getting lost more and more. Leah? Leah Adams is her name. Um, JC is doing a lot better. And I want to pray for her, too. Okay. She really worries about JC and Lee. Yes. Okay. So JC and Leah we want to pray for their salvation, for God to work in their lives and open their eyes. And, you know, we could spend all day here because I know every one of our families has lost people in it. And uh, when we get in the new building, we're going to have a prayer tree. And we are going to write the names of all those lost ones in our families and put them on our prayer tree. And we're going to pray for them. And when they get saved, and many of them will get saved, we'll take them off that tree and we'll shout glory and have a, a glorious time. Anybody else? Amen. Yeah, so Allison. A prayer is my daughter uh, two nights ago was driving back at 8 o'clock at night from by Salt Creek, and a deer went right in front of her and it hit her front end and went underneath the car. Wow. So she was not hurt at all. Praise God. The car home, even though the radiator was leaking. leaking. Yeah. But she made it home, and she and her little twin daughters were fine. Praise God. You know what? We do live in the country, and there are deer that pop out, and you can be a good, slow driver even, and they'll still run right in front of you. So we praise God that Allison's daughter is all right, and that the deer didn't cause a lot of damage. Okay, Linda. Oh, I just want to add Emily down there. E M M. E M M. A L Y N. A L. Emily. No, M O N. Emily. Okay, go ahead. M O N. A N. Okay. M O N. M O N. Okay. For salvation. Okay. Okay, anybody else? Linda. I, I just want to. Give a praise to a praying church and loving church and a loving father who I, I've seen it work every day. Amen. And I'm so glad to be here. Amen. I am so thankful. Praise Amen. God. Amen. And we're excited. Linda got to where she couldn't breathe. Yeah. And uh, we bathed her in prayer and God rose her back up again. So Amen. praise God. Man. call out these names and we're all going to agree together. God's already working, but we're just going to say it as I call out the name. Yes. Father, we thank you for the high privilege of coming into the very throne room of heaven. Lord, we thank you. The veil was torn from top to bottom and that the way was made 
For Jesus Christ, who walked into your presence and is our high priest and intercessor. And Lord, we thank you for the privilege of praying and seeing your mighty hand move. Touch Patty Campbell, and we thank you that you already have. Yes. Michael Grothy, Lord, touch him as he has his colon removed next week. And more, your giver strength, dear Lord. Paul Howe, open up his lungs and strengthen him. Linda Ferguson with colitis, continue to touch her as she's at the stagecoach. Uh, Valerie, who has surgery tomorrow, touch her and bless her and guide the surgeon and help everything to go well. Kathy, who has a back procedure, touch her and help her. Brian Cox, who desperately needs a touch from you. Lord, touch his brain that his eyes might work properly again. And we thank you, Father. June Espedito is going to have surgery Friday. Let's pray for her. Bobby and Robbie Easton, that God would continue to touch them. Beatrice, as she has a bone scan, that God will give her a good report, and if not, that God will touch her and bring healing. Mike Wilson, who is septus in his collarbone, touch him and also save him, dear Lord. Bill and Bonnie, touch them. Touch Bonnie and help her, dear Lord. And uh, get rid of this UTI and help Bill to be able to help Bonnie again. Be with Brother Dave Gray and uh, this hip surgery. And we pray that it all goes well and his rehab goes well. Spiritual warfare that all of our families are having, but, but Linda especially, help her and just give her wisdom with Leslie, dear Lord. Bill Bush, we pray for his salvation, dear Father. Jenny, granddaughter that has infection, Barbara's, just touch Jenny and bring healing to her. Leah and JC, touch them both, dear Father, with thy mighty hand. Emily and for salvation, and all of our lost family members for salvation. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to once again gather together and to look into your word. We commit these things to you, for it's in Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. Okay, Brother Robert's going to read us a section of Scripture before I begin. Psalm 122. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is builded as a city that is compact together. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sakes, I will now say, Peace be within thee. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Robert. Let's we have all watched the news last week and uh, were very heartbroken at the Hamas invasion of Israel. And, uh, you know, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the fact that Israel is the time clock yes. for God's prophetic work. And we know that they were right at the cusp of having peace. Turn, if you would, to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. And I talked about this two weeks ago. Most of you probably don't remember. But I said they're very close and they are saying peace and safety. Saudi Arabia was right at the cusp of signing a peace treaty with Israel that would involve the Palestinians, but the Palestinians did not like it and did not want it. So thus, on October the 7th, they had a massive attack against Israel. And 1,300 
Jews were killed. And over a hundred are being held hostage in the tunnels under Gaza. And we know that there are 300 miles of tunnels under Gaza. So I can't begin to imagine what the soldiers of Israel are going through as they are about to enter Gaza and try to rid them of the terror group Hamas. Now, that's not the only problem that Israel has. Hezbollah has taken over Lebanon. Lebanon is north of Israel. Israel butts up with Lebanon. Hezbollah, the terrorist group, is taking over the country of Lebanon, and they are set up and ready to have a war with Israel also. So you have the south, Hamas, you have the north, Hezbollah, and their stated goal is the total destruction of Israel. And we know that God is the God of not only us, but he is the God of Israel. And when they mess with Israel, they mess with the apple of God's eye. You know, God intensely loves the nation of Israel. And we know here, let's look at 1 Thessalonians 5, what it says. Verse 1, chapter 5 of 1 Thessalonians, verse 1. Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers, you have to need, you have no need of anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know full well that the day of the Lord will come just like a thief in the night. And you know what restrains him now so that in his time he will be revealed. For the, for the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains Will restrain. I think I, am I in the right place? No. No, no I guess I went to the, I missed the pain. Yeah. While they're saying, verse there you three, go. That's yeah. it. while they're three. saying peace and safety, then destruction will come upon them suddenly, like labor pains upon a woman who is pregnant, and they will never escape. So that's exactly what happened on October the seventh. The nation was starting to say peace and safety. MBS, who is the leader of Saudi Arabia, large, large Arabic nation, had said we are right on the cusp of signing a peace treaty with Israel. And even Benjamin Netanyahu said we are very close to having peace with Saudi Arabia. And already several Arabic nations have decided, you know what, we can do business with Israel. They are God blessed. They have technology that is unbelievable. So many of the Arab neighbors are signing treaties with Israel and Hamas and Hezbollah did not want that to happen. So they were saying peace and safety. Then suddenly, like labor pains upon a woman who is pregnant, and they will never yeah, escape. Right. So it was happening, it was close, but poof, destruction came. Then it says, but you brothers, verse four, are not in darkness, that that day would overtake you like a thief. For you are all sons of light and sons of day. We are not of night nor of darkness. So then let us not sleep as others do. But let us be awake and sober for those who sleep, sleep at night. And those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we are of the day, let us be sober, having put on the breastplate of faith and love. And as a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has not appointed us for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, we have talked in Ephesians 6 
to some extent about spiritual warfare and the weapons that God has given us. Mm -hmm. And here we are in this day. We are not waiting on the Lord. We are watching for the Lord. We are alert. We are the five virgins who have enough oil in their lamp to make it to the wedding feast. That is the next thing that will take place. The rapture of the church, 1 Thessalonians 4.13. We will rise up. We will meet the Lord in the area, in the air rather. And we know that God will come down. Why not only to rapture us, but to rescue Israel? Amen. Ezekiel 38 and 39. What I believe is going to happen, and I may be wrong, but what I believe we are watching is a big explosion in the Middle East. Now, Israel will do good to deal with the Hamas and all those tunnels and all those hostages. Iran has financed Hamas and Hezbollah. That's why when we signed a treaty to get those few people back and Joe Biden said that he was going to release $6 billion to them, then that was their go light to Hamas and Hezbollah because they had the funding they needed to go ahead and attack Israel. Rest assured, they want the destruction of Israel. But rest assured, that's not going to happen. God is not going to let it happen. That's right. So we know we're going to be raptured. God's going to save Israel. And it's all found in Ezekiel 38 and 39. And we'll spend a little time with that in the weeks to come. Because these days are so important as to what is taking place. But you know, the main thing we need, we need to be walking with the Lord. We need to have our ears fixed to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to us. Because if God didn't want us to be active in hearing this warfare, we'd already be with him. But we are here for such a time as this. We are to be salt. We are to be light. We are to be peace lovers and sharing peace. But understanding we are soldiers in a war, a spiritual war. Right. We must daily put on the armor of God that we talked about in Ephesians chapter 6. The helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, shot our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In other words, we're to take these feet and share the gospel with those that we come into contact with and allow God to use us to bring them to salvation. You know, God's Word Baptist Church, we're not the biggest church, we're not the best church, but we are God's church. And He has placed us here for this purpose, to share the gospel around the world, within our community. We've given to uh, wise children, to feed the children of Wise County. We've given to wise choices to help save the babies in our county. We have given gift after gift to our community. And we have taken the most precious gift we have, the gospel. And we have gone door to door through our community, inviting them to church, asking them to think about giving their hearts and lives to Jesus. We're going to start that up again when we get in our new church. Amen. And we have seen God even when we haven't been going in these latter days since the church was destroyed. We have seen God bring new people. Because it's not us. It's the That's Lord right. that That's built right. his church. Amen. So, But we need to be alive. And we need to have salt. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your word today. And Though we didn't get very far, we had a lot of people to pray for. Lord, we thank you. We know that it's so important. And Lord, as we have our list, help us to remember each one daily. As we get new prayer requests, when we start our prayer chain on the phone, help us to be faithful to pray for our brothers and sisters in this community that the mighty God of the universe would bring his healing touch and touch each one. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit, for filling us and cleansing us and anointing us. Thank you that you are standing in the way of the approach of more evil until the time that you are taken out and we are taken out with you. Lord, we love you. And we want to give you this invitation. If there's anyone in this room that does not have peace in their heart that they would go to heaven should they die today, help them to come forward. Help them to be open to praying and asking Jesus into their heart. Maybe there's some other difficulty that brothers and sisters are going through and they want prayer. Whatever your will would be, Lord, we pray that you would be glorified in this invitation. For it's in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's stand. We'll have a hymn of invitation. If God is speaking to you, be faithful and do what He wants you to do. Mm. Number 479.
And also, the day of rage was the 13th. And there's, there's a lot of symbolism in the numbers in our calendars. Anyone else? baby was born on the 13th. All right, let's stand. We'll be dismissed. Eric will lead us in a closing song. All right, now we can sing Trust and Obey. We'll be number, it'll be number 571. We'll sing the first verse in the chorus. When we walk with